Welcome to the Leaderings. Hi, I'm Charlie, and I'm April. I'm Ella, and I'm Sophie. Hello, are you ready for a giraffe safari? Yes, I am. <laughs> wow, my name is Charlie and I'm going to be your tour guide for this giraffe safari session. Can I interest you in feeding the giraffe feeding session? And if you would like to do that, please can you um, say now so then we can get all these supplies ready um, before we get into our jeep. Oh, um, yeah, that will be cool. Thanks. So, if you just come over to the desk over here, then I will get you sorted with all the supplies you will need for a giraffe feeding session. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Okay, so all the supplies you're going to be needing for a giraffe feeding session are inside this bag here. And there's just a few more checks we need to do. So the first check, do you have a water bottle inside your bag? Um, yes, I do. Okay, that is good because it's very hot. Um, do you have sun cream on as well? But if you don't, I have some spare in here if you would like. Oh, sorry, I didn't think about that. Um, yes, please, could I borrow yours? Of course, there you go. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, that's fine. And, um, I'm not expecting you to have this, but do you have any mosquito spray on or mosquito repellent? Um, no, I don't, sorry. Nope, that's absolutely fine. So, I'm just going to give you some of that, just so the mosquitoes don't get you. <laughs> yes, okay, thanks. There you go. Um, oh, I'm um, sorry, I don't think I've actually... What is your name exactly? Oh, um, I'm Sophie. Oh, hi Sophie, and, well, I'm Charlie. <laughs> yes, okay. Three minutes later. So, um, this is the safari truck. But I'm just going to refer to this as the Jeep. Okay, then. Would you like to put your bag in the back of the Jeep where we've got the giraffe feeding equipment? Um, yeah, okay, then. Ooh, nice bag you've got there. Thank you. So, I think this is all actually going to be needing for this. So, would you like to enter the Jeep? Okay, then. <laughs> okay, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna sound like someone at a theme park now, but can you not open the doors by yourself? Just, um, can you just let me do it? Just because there's a sudden way and we a, don't want to break the Jeep and we want to be safe from the giraffes, yeah? No, that's fine. Are you okay? Can I shut the door? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so I'll just get on the other side. Okay, so I'm sorry, but we're going to actually have to drive for a little bit of a while. Just so we can see some drafts and get some drop feeding. Um, it's just because they live quite far away and the central hub is quite a way away from where they are based. Okay, that's fine. So, yes. So, whilst we're driving, I was thinking we could maybe do some talking about some giraffe feeding. When people come here, do they mostly do giraffe feeding, or is it like half and half people? Like, how many people do giraffe feeding? Um, most people do actually do giraffe feeding. I think it's more of like an interactive thing, because like, if you come and see giraffes, then you might as well feed them whilst you're here, I guess. Okay, and also we've kind of got, just got to wait until the giraffes come to you. Like, I know we've got a jeep and it's like easier just to like go up to them. But, but if you go over to them, the giraffes will probably get scared. So you just have to wait for them to come to us. Hello. Hi, I'm here.
here for a giraffe safari. Okay, so what is your name? And I'll introduce you and then I'll get into a few little more details. Oh, so I'm Ella and yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ella. So I'm April and I'm going to be your giraffe safari assistant. Okay, hi, April. Hello, Ella. <laughs> so, um, first things first, are you looking to do the giraffe feeding experience or just the giraffe viewing experience? Oh, um, I don't know what I've booked in for. So, it doesn't actually matter which one you've booked in for because it's the same amount of time you've booked a slot. And since you haven't paid yet, um, you can either pay for the giraffe viewing or the giraffe feeding experience. Oh, okay. Um, giraffe feeding sounds cool. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I'll just go and get some equipment. So, here are all of the giraffe feeding equipment. And this is all you will need for a giraffe feeding experience. Okay. And do you have a bag of all your possessions and things? Oh, I haven't really brought anything with me. So, no, not really. No, it's fine. I'm going to carry this bag anyway, but I strongly recommend it if you take a water bottle because obviously it's a very hot um, day and it's very hot out by the giraffes and I don't want you to dehydrate. Oh yeah, I haven't brought one. Is there anywhere I can buy one? Yeah, that's fine. Just come with me and I'll get you a bottled water. Okay, thanks. Would you like to borrow a bag as well? That's absolutely free. Oh, yes, please. Okay, I'll just go and get one. So, here is your bag and here is your bottled water. Thank you very much. It's okay. So, I'm just going to um, just make sure, have you got any sun cream or mosquito spray on? Um, no, I haven't got either of those on. Okay, I'll just go and um, get some feet for it. I just would not like you to get bitten or to get sunstroke or heat stroke or anything like Five that. minutes later, look over there, there's a tower of giraffes. A tower of giraffes. Oh yes, did you know that a group of giraffes is actually called a tower? No, I didn't. Is that to do with their height or... I don't actually know why, I just know it is. Interesting. Yes. So I think this is actually a pretty good time to just wait and be patient for the giraffe tower to come over to us. And whilst we're, in, whilst we're doing that, I can tell you some giraffe facts. That'll be cool. Okay, so did you know that the way you can tell female and male giraffes apart is that you know their horns at the top. They're not actually horns, they're like, they're cartilage covered in skin but yeah so there are horns if they are covered in hair then they are females and if they are stripped bald then they are males because males usually do lots of fighting and they'll fight using their horns and if they fight then their the hair on top of their horns will just be stripped off and they'll just be bald oh i know Okay, so if you see that one over there, so that one there is a male because it's got a bold, it's got bold horns. But the one next to it, that one is a female. Wow, I know, right? And did you know giraffes are usually found eating leaves because of their long necks, so they can reach the top leaves and the juiciest and the juiciest. I don't know the yeah, you know the best leaves at the top of the tree. But drinking water is actually a real difficulty for them because they just, um, like they literally have to spread their, um, their front legs out and bend their neck down. And giraffes don't actually need to drink that often, so an adult giraffe can usually survive up to, like, two days with only drinking once. And the reason why that's a good thing because when they go into that classic drinking position where they spread their legs out, um, not only does it strain their neck, but it actually makes them really, um, 
defenseless to predators, so it's really easy for predators to come and attack them when they're in that position. So that's why they often try and reduce the amount they can do that, and they can do that like every couple of days. Whoa! Look, there's a mummy and a baby one. <gasps> Look, there's a baby one there too. So here's your mosquito spray and your sun cream. So I would recommend if you put that on now, if that's okay. Sure. Okay, so my sun cream's all on now. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Thank you. So I'm just going to go and take you out to the um safari track. Ooh, thanks. So this is the safari track. And would you like to place your bags on this back storage area? Um, yes, okay. There we go, perfect. So, um, should we get inside the safari vehicle? Okay. Sorry, for health and safety reasons, please can you not open the doors of the truck because we don't want to damage the vehicle or we want to keep the giraffes safe and we just... It's annoying, I know, but it's just health and safety reasons. Okay, yeah, totally understand that. Sorry, would you like me to put your crutch in the back of the vehicle? Um, yes, that would be really helpful. Thank you so much. Don't worry, that's my job. Now we're both in, let's start to drive. So, I'm afraid we're going to actually have to drive for a pretty long period of time. That's fine, don't worry about it. It's mainly because the giraffes live and are based a little bit further away. Oh, okay then. So, whilst we are driving, we can just talk about what we're going to be doing and how we're going to feed the giraffes. Ten minutes later... ...in position, they have to eat as well, so they can get the best leaves at the top of the tree, and they... So most of their liquid and most of their water actually comes from their leaves, and... That is because they eat up to 35 pounds of leaves a day. What? That is a lot of leaves. For just one giraffe. Yeah, I know. Right, when a giraffe comes over, I want you to... I'll give you some leaves on a branch, and I just want you to hold that up as high as you can. Just, like, put your hand high up in the air, like this. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So really high, just so the giraffe doesn't have to bend down too much, and um, so she can just like take it and, or they can just drink, take it and just like eat it at their own will. Okay, so hold that thing really tall, and okay, the giraffe's coming over. Okay, now just keep it still, keep it still, and it'll just come over and start eating. So you know I told you about that giraffes eat. 25 pounds of the leaves a day. Yes, so a giraffe actually weighs, on average, a giraffe usually weighs 3,600 pounds. That's one adult giraffe. And when they are born, they are approximately 2 meters tall and weigh about 200 pounds. So they grow like 12 times their weight when they're an adult. <laughs> wow, I know. And you see that beautifully patterned skin? Oh yeah, um, giraffe skin is actually totally unique. So no two giraffe skin are the same. Not even like mother and child. They're all completely different. Wow. Oh look, there's a giraffe! <gasps> Whoa, he's so tall. Yeah, I know, and you'll just have to get used to the fact that they were already two meters tall, six feet tall, when they were just a baby. Wow, I know. Yeah, and the way they walk is fascinating. Yes, did you know that giraffes are actually really fast? 
are they? Yes. So they can run up to 35 miles per hour over a short distance and then up to 10 miles an hour steadily over a long distance. Wow, that's fast. Ooh. Mm, wild. Oh, look, he's bringing over a friend. Uh -huh. And you see how they walk? Yeah. So, did you know that they learn to walk almost immediately after they are born? Wow. Yes. So they're standing up and walking around. Oh no, this giraffe has taken the branch. Oh, um, I don't have any other branches to give you. Um, is it alright if we just continue with our giraffe viewing experience? Yeah, okay. So, um, I'll just carry on, drive you around a bit, spot some giraffes, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, yeah. And then, are we gonna go back? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so, so I think your two hours is nearly up. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing loads of really cute giraffes. <gasps> this giraffe safari is so cool. Look. Oh, this is definitely worth it. This is cool. Oh, look. Look up there. Oh, look at that mummy and baby one. Oh, Look how he's protecting her baby. Wow. I think that one's the daddy one and the baby one. Or it might be the mummy one, actually. I don't know. Aww. There's two baby ones. This baby one is just too, 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 too cute. Oh, this is so, so, so cute. My goodness. Those giraffes were awesome to look at. <laughs> well, can we count on you coming back? Oh, you bet. Cool. It was amazing taking you on this giraffe safari. I love taking visitors. Thanks for coming. No, thanks for taking me. This has been an amazing experience I will never forget. Aww. But I'm afraid it does have to end here. Sorry. That's okay. Thanks for watching Cozy Tunes. We'll see you all next time. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye from Charlie. And goodbye from April. Yes, and bye from Ella. See you next time. Bye from Sophie.